One of the biggest challenges that businesses face is getting in front of qualified prospects. Your time is precious, and if you're not booking the right appointments, then you're wasting your time and not making sales. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use these powerful strategies to book more quality appointments with potential clients. I'm Big Marv, the Automation King. Let's get started. Welcome back to the channel where I teach CEOs how to scale their lead generation using business automation. Let's dive in. So how to book more quality appointments? The answer is simple, but yet a lot of business owners don't do it. Be intentional. Survey your prospects. It's very simple to add a survey into your demo funnel. The questions for your survey are simple. They should identify exactly where your customer is in their journey so you can offer a solution that is gonna get them to their goal the quickest. You should be able to read the answers on this survey and do it in 10 questions or less. Now, remember the point of these questions, again, you're their guide, they wanna go from A to Z. So question number one is how long have they been in business? You wanna make sure you structure these questions from the beginning of their journey to the end of the journey, you delivering said solution. Obviously question number one is finding out who are they? Are they a startup? Are they some single mom doing this as a side hustle? Are they trying to leave corporate? A simple question like, how long have you been in business? We'll answer this for you. If they've been in business for less than a year, then you know they're a startup. This is a potential side hustle. Maybe they've made revenue, maybe they haven't. But that single question answers that for you. Second question, you want to identify what is it they're trying to build? Are they trying to build a legacy? Are they in this game because they just want to make money? Are they trying to create an impact on the planet? Right? What are they trying to build? One of the things that I ask is, how long have you had a personal brand and what is your goal with it? This tells you exactly what they're in it for. The third question is, what have they tried before? This lets you know if they're a shiny toy buyer, if they bought a bunch of courses before, if they've hired other coaches before, if they try to build websites, if they try to build funnels, this kind of lets you know exactly what they've tried to use in the past to fix or achieve whatever their goal is. The fourth question is more of an active sense. What are they doing right now, right? The previous question is this is what they've tried in the past, but what are they doing right now? This helps you identify what they're doing to scale their business at the moment, what they're doing to build their business at the moment, and if your solution plugs right into. The fifth is what are they doing right now that they notice is working? This lets you know, do they track their KPIs? Do they know how well their funnel converts? Do they know how well their messaging works? Or maybe they'll tell you that nothing's worked so far, but this lets you know if they've proven the concept or if they haven't proven the concept. Because if whether you've been in the business for a long time or not, a startup that has a proven concept is a much harder brand to build than a startup that has made a couple of sales and they just haven't figured out how to scale it on autopilot. So the single question can save you a lot of time and effort of whether they're an ideal prospect or not an ideal prospect. The sixth question is, have they tried something specifically to what you've offered, right? So like on well, my survey, I say, have you ever hired a coach or a mentor to automate your business and help scale it. This lets me know if they've hired an The seventh question is just a follow-up to that last one. It allows them to go into some more details because if they have tried something similar to what you have to offer, we need to know how did it pan out for them? Did they like it? Did they hate it? Did they love it? Do they love doing it, but they can't figure out how to get past X, Y, Z? Give them a box to give you all those details. The next question is, are they ready to invest right now? This lets you know, if they have a budget and they're willing and ready to hire an expert to take you up on your offer or service. Because if they're not willing to invest right now and they're not ready to invest right now, then it not, might not be a quality prospect for you to spend your time on the phone with right now. So just use simple options like, yes, I'm ready to go right now. No, I'm trying to do this in the next one to three months or I'm not sure. This lets you know exactly where they are mentally in relationship to if they're ready to invest in themselves and their business at the moment. Now, remember we're trying to achieve getting these answers in 10 questions or less. 
Now those last two questions, you can reserve them for how did they find you, what traffic did, you know, source did they come from, something along those lines. I wanna tee that up with don't make every single box something to where they can just type in a response. Make some of the questions specific questions like with specific answers, like yes, no, I'm ready right now, I'm not ready right now, I've done it in the last three months, four months, what, whatever it may be so you can get concise answers because some people, they don't even know and they'll just type random things in the box where you wanna kinda of drive those answers to those questions so you know exactly where they are in the journey so you know exactly how to position yourself when you're offering the product or service when you finally get on that sales call with them. So now that you have quality leads coming into your system, the next thing to do is to automate your calendar so you're not wasting any time sending confirmation emails, follow-up reminders, or links for them to join you on the call. I have a great video series where I walk you through how to set this up. Click on that video now and I'll see you there.